Welcome back to Mini Junkie, everyone. My name is Jarrett. At some point, it became a thing to have a fancy handle to attach your miniature to to paint it. And then a lot of companies noticed this and started to crank out and design actual manufactured ones to meet that demand. Now, there's plenty of homemade versions, of course. Brent at Goobertown Hobbies uses wooden dowels and magnets and just makes a whole bunch of those and uses those to hold his miniatures that he is painting. I actually never used a handle of any kind for the bulk of my hobby career, like 25 years. I just hold the base while I paint it, or God forbid, I even touch the dry paint sometimes. Now, conventional wisdom is that your hands have oils or your skin has oils that will interfere with the paint or you'll rub some off or something but i gotta be honest i never really had a problem with that maybe my skin's dry and in terms of the ones that are for sale i never really took to any of them i did try the games workshop one that was first released the black one and i always felt like i was going to slingshot my miniature across the room with that really tight spring holding mechanism so didn't really enjoy that one and don't use it so much i tried the red grass games one found it a little small a little smooth and the head where am I going with this? I don't know, it just wasn't quite my cup of tea. Had a bit, a bit of a smaller base, wasn't standing up nicely. Didn't quite dig it. And for some reason, a lot of painting handles, and spoilers, this is the one we're talking about right now, the Grim Grip, a lot of them taper down at the bottom. Many of them do, and it's weird because they tend to be top heavy and you don't wanna knock it over. And frankly, with the Grim Grip, I knocked it over a couple times and even broke my 3D resin prints once or twice. Now those are really brittle, so you know, whatever. But it did fall over a couple of times and I'll get into that in a minute and how I, how I fixed it. In fact, I think the newer GW ones have a wider and fatter base because of that reason. Now recently, Stephanie at Orion's Belt Miniatures who gets excited about products on her channel that I then find infectious and then I have to get one too, like this uh, wonderful Conquest Tyrannosaurus. But anyway, she reviewed the Grim Grip and really liked it. And I was like, she likes that so much, I want one too. And then the manufacturer reached out to me and said, would you like one to review? And I said, yes, here we are. Now I've owed them this video for a while and I apologize it took a while to make, life's been pretty busy, but also I wanted to try using it quite a bit. Like I've painted probably five or six miniatures with it before filming this review to make sure I could tell you honestly how I found it. And maybe the best thing I can say about it to you guys is I, am still using it and still plan to use it. Now, the very first thing I noticed when I received mine was that Stephanie's had a really nice varnished handle and mine does not. I was, you know, a little bitter, but whatever, it was okay. I, it's so it's because it's unfinished, not in a rough way, it's smooth, which is great. And it feels really nice, but I did wonder like, is it too smooth? Am I gonna drop it? And thought about varnishing it myself, but I'm lazy. And then I thought about wrapping it in grippy tape, but still lazy. So I may do, I may do those things, but it hasn't really been a big problem. Now the Grim Grip is a super clever design. And I'd say the two main features, one of course is the handle itself. It's a nice size and a nice shape just for holding while you're painting. But the genius thing is this magnet ball, magnetic ball, which is actually quite big. And it's just super clever. At first I thought, eh, neat gimmick, I don't want it. And then I, so I tried painting without it. But then I was like, and you know, the hand, the, the head will rotate and stuff like that without the ball. So that's fine. It acts as a pretty good uh, painting handle without the ball. But then I put the ball back on to try it and I'm not gonna go back cause it's really, really cool. The ball holds just strong enough that you can like, you know, you can tilt your miniature whatever way and it'll stay there while you're painting. You can obviously have your hand there and you can just easily and quickly manipulate it in several different axes and then axes. And then you can reach into different areas and let light get into certain areas and stuff like that. So I, I really, really like it. You can also detach the ball and put it on the bottom, but I just don't know why you would. The top of the head of the, of the um, Grim Grip has a large magnet. I don't tend to magnetize very many of my miniatures. It would hold really well if you do, but I just put on poster tack on top of the magnet and it holds great. Like this is a fairly large, what is this? The Bolt Beast Thrower Slayer from Orc Bor Jesus. I don't know what this is called. I can't remember. Cruel Boys. It's a pretty big model and it holds just fine with blue tack. I'm a little scared when I do that, but no, it holds on just fine. Another cool thing is they send you a magnet to stick to your desk or to your cutting mat. And then the bottom of the handle has a metal piece. I think it's just metal, not magnetized. I could be wrong though. Uh, inserted into the dowel, which is cool. However, 
I did find that the magnet they supplied was a little small, so I put a bigger one, uh, like I just had magnets lying around. So I put a bigger one on my cutting mat and it stands nicely, but the size of the metal part is a little small and it's a little top heavy, so I was knocking it over. So then I just glued a larger magnet on the bottom and it holds awesomely and, and now I'm super happy with it. Now you could gl glue a large magnet to any other painting handle, but I'm just saying it worked really well on this. So again, for me, the selling points are the larger handle for gripping, the ball, which is genius, the magnetized head, and the fact that you can then stand it up on your painting table with a magnet on the base. And I don't think I'll use it for large miniatures like monsters and vehicles, because I just don't. I would just hold those no matter what painting handle I own, but I will be using it for regular size miniatures going forward. And that's my biggest recommendation I can make to you guys is that I am going to keep using it. I enjoy using it. And therefore I do not hesitate to tell you guys it's worth your time and money to pick one up for yourselves. I'm not affiliated with these guys. They, they did send the handle for a review, but I don't get a commission, but I'm gonna put links below to the original manufacturer, I believe, and also to uh, Sarah at Dark Arts Miniatures. She has the Etsy store for Canada distribution of the handle. So if you're in Canada, hit her up for one of these handles. I don't think you'll regret it. I think you'll really like it. That's it for this time. Hope you've enjoyed the review. See you next time.